The fire rises. Ah, de volta pro Mortal. Alright, let's get back to Mortal Kombat 11 after a long break. I think almost two weeks. And we have a Kano player. Probably Reaper. Yes, we don't see too many Reaper players online. And I'm playing Collector. Collector is a character that I, th I think is pretty fun. I like the design, I like his gameplay. And he has a very good command grab. A 10th frame in mid command grab. Yeah, this is a dream for our grappler. Shit, I lost the reset. Yeah, this guy's not breaking. I'm not going for collector's optimal because I don't remember. I have to go to the lab and practice. And if I try, I'll probably miss it. There we go. Yes, as much as I hate those armored fatal blows, you have to use it. It's very useful, very strong in this game. Alright, I thought I would not even remember his strings, but I think it was alright. It probably take some matches to, to remember everything. Yeah, this guy is going for a throw a lot. I think I should play like this too. See? Oh, come on. Right, let's put him in the corner. Ready to play. Round two, fight. Tick throw. Yeah, this is a very good tick throw. You can tick throw after down one. I think down three and down four. There you go. I'm planning to do a video to rank all the command grabs in Mortal Kombat 11 because you have some characters with a very good command grab. When I say very good, it's a mid, like Otokan. 
But Collector has also a mid command grab, like Garrus, but he does not have a chain combo that has a tick throw, just uh, pokes. Collector's command grab has a crushing blow, but it's like Kano's, you have to catch your opponent while he is doing the row escape, it's not easy, but can get some crazy damage, something around 44% with a bar. Yeah, this is so fast and it's a mid, it's a great guarantee punish. Round two, fight. Right. Completely forgot about this question blow. And he's dead. The yeah, collector has some very good crushing blows. Most of them are launchers, so you can get some very good damage. Okay, starting to remember. Let's go for more matches. Okay, so now let's face this Cabal player, this guy plays very well, and his flawless blocks are on point. I hardly ever hit a flawless block, and I really don't enjoy this mechanic, mostly because I can do it regularly. I can do it with some strings, easy strings, like uh, Shao Kahn's 434 and that string that Skart has, and Kano's. But it's not a guarantee. Okay. Round two, fight. Nice. Yeah, he got me. Ugly, but not so fast. Yeah, I don't know why Cabal has so many safe strings, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm missing the reset every single time. Finish 
Nice, nice. Yeah, I have to be careful because this guy is just flawless blocking all my single hits. I have to bait him. Let's try again. Yes, this first blocker destroying me. Okay, man, that was close. Alright, I really don't know how I beat him this round because I missed everything, I was so lucky. And it's crazy how much damage uh, Cabal can do after Flawless Block because he has a meterless launcher with the Nomad Dash, it's insane. got him with the entire air.
All right. What are you looking at? Collector is standing too. It's a very good anti-air. Oh, come on. I quit. I'm not going for the reset anymore. Ooh, that was close. Again, I was saved by the armored false block. I'm always saying that I hate this mechanic, but it saved me my ass twice today. Yeah, as I have to go to the lab and practice some strings and some punishes, but Collector is a very cool character. GG's.